Teen Wolf, Nine Reasons Styles is actually the main character. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Zone. Number 9, Styles Solves the Mystery. The crux of Teen Wolf is the group of teenagers are thrust into the world of the supernatural as a result of Scott McCall's werewolf bite. Any supernatural mystery that lands in town is up to this group of teens to solve since no one else in town knows exactly what's going on. Considering Scott is one of the titular Teen Wolf characters, it makes sense for him to be the one solving the mysteries on hand. However, that's not the case. Instead, the mystery solving tends to fall on Styles. Described by many as wise beyond his years for this, Styles has a knack for investigations, even if he doesn't initially seem that way. It's Styles being the linchpin and the most mysterious that really makes a case for him being the show's main character. Without him, the rest of the group is very much lost. Number 8. Styles lives long enough to become the villain. In a hero's journey, there's always a point when no one believes they're doing the right thing, or a point when they literally become the villain of the story because of a misguided path. Both happen to Styles over the course of Teen Wolf, though the latter isn't entirely his fault, showing that he follows the traditional arc of a mythological hero. Number 7. Styles is immune to the Alpha Roar. Although Styles is part of the McCall pack, he isn't one of the supernatural beings that draws power from it. Instead, Styles retains his humanity throughout the show's run. That means that Scott's Alpha Roar, while loud, and it might make him flinch, doesn't have an effect on him. That might not seem like much, but it seems Styles is able to exist independently of the pack without having to draw strength from the pack. Styles' storyline can be his own. Number 6. He grows out of the comic relief role. For much of the first season, Styles is a stereotypical funny best friend. It's a role in teen movies and television series that relegates the best friend and the main characters to comic relief. Styles, however, grow out of that role. As the series goes on, Styles might still make sarcastic comics, but he isn't slapstick sidekick who falls over desk. Styles fights back against the villains, he deals with his anxiety and becomes a serious and grounding presence in the show. It's Styles who talks Scott down from taking his own life, and Styles who walks in the Eichen house to try and save Lydia Martin. Number 5. The audience gets to see his career path. Throughout the series, the audience sees the teenagers come in age of the high school setting, but they don't see what happens to many of the characters after school. Styles is one of the exceptions to do that. The audience get to see exactly what career path Styles intends to pursue. The final episode reveals that Styles has an internship with the FBI. That internship has provided fans a hope for the eventual Teen Wolf spinoff of the character. However, the more time there is between Teen Wolf and a potential spinoff launch, that seems less likely. Number 4. Styles connects the supernatural to the human world. When most of the characters in the series become entrenched in the supernatural world, most of their connections to the human world seem less important to them. This is especially true of the werewolves who become incredibly focused on their packs. That's not entirely true for Styles. While yes, Styles does his stuff over supernatural mysteries, he also retains his human connections. He looks for ways to solve problems that aren't immediately dependent of a werewolf or a banshee. Styles provides the audience with a link between the two worlds of Beacon Hills, providing a clear picture on both sides. Number 3. Styles chooses Beacon Hills. One thing that heroic main characters have in common is that they make the difficult choice to put everyone else first. Styles does just that repeatedly in the show, but especially at the end of the series. Though he has a whole life lined up for himself, an FBI internship and the path out of his small hometown, he takes break from the path that the moment he learns from Beacon Hills is in trouble. Styles makes the decision to potentially sacrifice his path towards a return to Beacon Hills and be a part of Teen Wolf the McCall Pack one more time. Number 2. His family backstory is revealed. Even in Symbol series, it's easier for the audience to tell which characters are considered the main character based on how much of a backstory is revealed for the characters. There's plenty of info revealed about Styles' life growing up in Beacon Hills, but his family history is even expanded for the show. Number 1. Styles gets the epic love story. When it comes to teen television, relationships run their course in a handful of episodes, or even seasons or two. The exceptions tend to be for the love interests of the main characters who are in it for the long haul. The epic in-game couples, though Styles has two other love interests in Teen Wolf, from the first episode to the last episode, his epic love story is with Lydia Martin. Styles freely admits to his crush from her on a young age, but never truly thinks that he has a chance with her, no matter how often he's there for her. After they become friends, investigate partners, and then pack members, their relationship progresses. It's not until Styles goes missing as a result of the Ghost Riders that Lydia admits that she loves him, but by the end of the series, they're finally together. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.